You're watching Chicago's very own WGN News with Larry Potash, Micah Mater, Paul Conrad with weather, Mike Bars with sports, and Robin Baumgarten with traffic. This is WGN Morning News at 6. Good morning, Chicago. I'm Joni Lemeron, time at the Festival of Balloons, a competition of giant proportions. Look at this, completely made out of balloons. We're going to show you the competitors coming up. And Joni is flying high around town. We're going to take you to the Festival of Balloons. The folks behind these creations are pretty talented. Oh, my goodness, look at that. Joni is around town now at the Festival of Balloons. Good morning. Good morning. You know, balloon sculpture has come a long way from the blow-up, balloon dog poodle that they make out of those long balloons. Look at this. This is an eagle. And here's a really new technique. This is uh, not blown up, but stretched around wires, kind of like this. It looks like a flower. It's what they don't put in the balloon that makes it interesting sometimes. We are checking out the uh, sculpture here, and we're going to meet some of the creators coming up. And coming up next. And let's check in around town. And Joni is checking out some balloons this morning. Good morning. Hi, Chicagoans come to this every year, and so they have become real in tune to what is good technique in balloon making. Uh, the American Balloon Company is a Chicago company. We have Lisa Talib with us this morning. You are working on a big patriotic idea here. Mm -hmm. Yes, we are. We have the American Eagle here, and that has approximately 1,600 balloons in it. Nice. And then we have the um, American flag behind us. Mm -hmm. And we were inspired with that after the 9-11 tragedy and also because we are an American Balloon Company. Yeah, well, that makes sense, right, doesn't it? Right. Now, you've participated in this before, and the ideas are just unbelievable. Phenomenal, yes. There are many talented people in this room. And, and the we technique so is surprising, too. Oh, yes. Every year I come back learning more and more from this. You've got a deadline to meet. Uh, noon. <laughs> <laughs> you look still kind of in the process. We'll be doing it. Okay. We'll be celebrating tonight. All right. Well, good luck to you. Thank That's you very Lisa Talib. The great thing about this, these balloon folks have been up all night. See, they've been up before we have. And they're working toward this noon deadline when they will be judged in competition. And there are competitors from all over the world. We have Marie Mandoli with us. Good morning. Good morning, Joni. 18 years now in the making. The audience for this has become very savvy. Yes, especially um, all of the wonderful people in the Chicagoland area who are the only people on the families who get to come and see these sculptures live because they're built here, they stay here for three days, and then they're gone. Mm -hmm. And Sunday is the day that families can come and see them. And then the impermanence of the balloon yes, begins then, to happen. Yeah, then, then, they, then they pop them and they take everything down. And Well, let's talk about this team here because they're, they're a very creative team from Italy. Uh, what is this sculpture supposed to be? This re tree represents the four seasons of the year, and if you look closely, they have the most adorable little cherries, and aren't we glad that it's going towards spring and summer, the little cherries, and uh, it, it's a beautiful work, and it has lots of balloons, some are inflated, some are not inflated, but this is made almost exclusively with balloons. Wow, here again, that technique of not inflating or, or kind of half inflating balloons comes through. Right, and that's a new technique. What are judges looking for? Judges are looking for originality, they're looking for skill level, they're looking for techniques, uh, they're looking for form and balance and color and, you know, many, many things. So it's, it's a tough competition and people work all year long to bring this to the delegates and then the public. I also want to look at that uh, uh, balloon uh, bridal Amazing. theme that's going on. Right, the little ballerina. Yes. Oh, great. Well, thanks for showing us. Let's tell folks where they can come and see these. Uh, it's private for now while they get set up, but the Festival of Balloons is going on at the Hyatt Regency O'Hare Sunday, March 10th from 11 to 3. From 11 to 3. It's exciting for kids. Kids have grown up with this. In the next hour, we're going to see more of the other teams whole whole other side of this room. Now back to you. Good morning, Chicago. I'm Joni Lummer on town at the Festival of Balloons where the international competition is inflating. Hey, here's a greeting from the Italians. Buongiorno, Chicago! Oh, they're great. We're going to have more coming up. And let's check in with Joni. She is at a huge balloon festival. Good morning. Where they're making all kinds of sculpture, everything out of balloons. Rick the Balloon Man uh, replaced my inferior broadcasting equipment with this microphone and headphones. Right. Attention, attention, so I could broadcast. But take a look at these pirates that they've made. The, uh, they're going to have a big pirate-themed party here. The German team producing these pirate sculptures. I think they're partners of some sort because the blonde one has a ball and chain. It's going to be one heck of a throwdown. We're going to show you more of the international competition coming up.
Let's check in with Joni, who's at another cool show, the Festival of Balloons. It's high art, high level art. We are working in the small right now. We've got the balloon man with us. He made me a, a corsage, a la Sex in the City. Rick Moore, the balloon man, hello. Well, hello, how are you, Joni? Fine, thanks. Now, a lot of this work has come a long way since, you know, just folding and bedding balloons. Oh, definitely. We've gone a long way from the little three-twist dog that everybody usually sees. Yeah, yeah, and you have really perfected it with original design and, and um, cuddly little balloon sculpture. Yes, thank you. Uh, it's trying to get a nice variety, and I try to put detail in my balloons so they look like what they're supposed to be, so you get a, uh, a better better quality product. So that's what I work on. Fantastic. Okay, you're going to do a little balloon trick right now. Yeah. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do with all these balloons here is go behind my back and twist them into something fantastic. Are you ready? I'll take them one at a time. And, all right, you got to strain a little bit to kind of get it going here, but... This is it's hard to kinda, do in front of you, let alone behind your back. Oh, I know. It's, but when you do it behind your back, you don't see the mistakes, which is the good part. Okay, and then I'm ready to go. <laughs> Tying it is the hard part. I didn't know, I realized it was a muscle spark. There we go. Now, what I do with this is I will pop this, and you'll see what I put inside just now. Are you ready? Yeah. And oh, look it, it's a little toy thing. <laughs> it's a little teddy bear inside of a clear balloon. Wow. Oh, you're a hit with the kids, I'm sure. Rick Moore, thanks so much. Thanks. That's what they're doing with balloons these days. That balloon inside a balloon is a big deal. Uh, we have Marie Mandoli with us, too, who is um, very familiar with the international aspect of this competition. It's one of the wonderful things about it is that people come from all over the world, and uh, their common language is balloons and art and, and love of... Of, of making things that are beautiful for other people to see. This sculpture we're nearby is a pretty high-tech thing with newer kinds of balloons and a great design. I think it's fabulous. Troy April from St. Louis made this sculpture and he it's the it's a replica of the Newton's cradle. Uh, with Which is weighted and actually works. Right, right. And he's this is a sort of an interactive thing where uh, it the actually that he's gotten them to do exactly what the toy does which is not easy the waiting is very difficult yeah, yeah. well that's great and a great thing for folks to see Marie Mandoli thank you very much let's tell you where you can see these things they're gonna be working on the sculpture uh, for the next few days but you can come in on Sunday here at the Hyatt Regency O'Hare Sunday March 10th 11 to 3 is when all the public can come in and kids under 12 come in free. Look at this cute little rubber ducky. It's part of a bathroom scene. The kids are going to love this. In addition to this, they're also going to love this monster truck over here, which is not done by an American team, incidentally. Now back to you. Oh, thanks, Johnny. Johnny.